welcome, gents. Um, hugely disappointing day for Arsenal souls. What are you saying, bro? No, it's just it's it's a disappointing day, really. I mean, it's not over. It's two point gap between us and City. There's still a lot of the season to go. I understand why people are upset. Don't get it twisted. I'm pissed off at the team as well. I'm just as disappointed as anyone. But at the same time, there's a lot of the season to go. They've got to play Spurs. They've got to play Brighton. Anything can happen. This is more copium than anything. I'm just hoping that, you know, there's something written in the stars that it happens for us. But the, but the reality is, when we critique, when the likes of myself and Brandon have critiqued Arteta, even in this good period at the beginning of the season, how slow, how slow we played, we've been getting clowned on. And I've said it, it's going to come back to bite us in the ass. You know, we haven't been, we haven't started the season the way we needed to. And all I've been hearing from the players, every single press conference, every single social media post, we've changed. We've learned from last season. We carry the hurt. Bullshit. Because you man must fucking love hurt. You man must love disappointing the fans. Because why would you keep saying that and doing the same shit over and over again? Not one of you stood on business today. Not one of you said, you know what, this is my game. The only person is Odegaard. The only person that stood up today. Saka, where were you? This is why I fucking hate Arsenal fans. This is why I hate them. Because you man want to put them in the world class bracket. Where is he? Did he stand on business when we needed him? He didn't. Where was Martinelli? Where's Trotson? Where's Jesus? Where's Kai Havertz? Where's Rice? Where were they today? The only man that stood on business today was Martin Odegaard. He carried that manager today as well. And what was that fool doing today? Oh, um, it's not really going in our favour. Do you know what? Let's just carry on with the same old bullshit. Oh, I've got a bench that I've actually signed on. I've given contracts to. I've transferred into the club. Oh, um, yeah, I don't really trust none of you. I don't trust none of you. Another 70 minute substitution. Am I a dickhead for backing you? I said this last year as well. Please don't make me look like a fool for backing you. But going on these social medias, going on the podcast, right, and backing you. Don't make me look like a fool, please. Now it's on these players. You must stand. I don't give a shit. I'm not defending one of you. I am not going to put you on a pedestal. You put yourself on that goddamn pe pedestal. Because it's not up to me anymore. Twice now. FA Cup. Carabao Cup. Yeah, okay. We let that go. You see how you're about to do it again. You're about to come out of that competition too. When you had 60,000 fans supporting you and backing you and you still couldn't do it. And now you want to go to the Allianz and tell us you're going to do it. Two competitions were out of in a single week. First round of the FA Cup again. First round of the Carabao Cup, you're out. But yet we're meant to trust this process and actually sit here and go, yeah, let's give it another season. What's the faith? Where and why should I give it another season? When are we going to deliver? When are we going to stand on business and actually take these teams to the next? And that's the disappointing thing. We put you guys on a pedestal and you guys can't back it. Uh, listen, I hear you completely. I'm going to go to Max. I know Matt's got a shoot soon. Uh, Matt, uh, give us your thoughts on today. Some weird decisions in the starting lineup, poor substitutions from Mikel Arteta, and then the team just lacking the mentality when the pressure got on top. What, 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 give me your thoughts. I just, I'm fed up of Zinchenko. I am like, I <laughs> absolutely hate rant on him. I'm absolutely sick and tired of this guy because we put him in a left-back position, which is a defensive position. Yes, his role's different, but if he can't defend, why is he there? Why is he not in midfield where he excels? I don't, you know, I, I don't... That's the manager. Huh? 100%. Well, yeah, but, like, 100%. Um, and we, we sub off uh, Martin Odegaard, who is arguably our best player on the pitch today. That's game done. He was absolutely, you know, creating everything. He was he was brilliant in that game. Like, in that first half, he was brilliant. And then we took him off. For, for, for what? Smith Rowe. What is Smith Rowe going to do that Martin Odegaard can't do? Like, 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 real talk here. Like, seriously. Like, Smith Rowe, is, he's probably gone. Why are, we take, why are we putting him on for... And taking off Martin Odegaard? I, I, like, I just don't understand it. And Ben White, like... I'm not sure like um if he was carrying anything, but he had a yellow card, he couldn't get into any tackles. Why not take him off earlier? Why not take him off at half time? Why not bring on Tommy Asu at half time? You know, like I just think that the substitutions were too late. 
like it was it was literally too late. And as soon as Martin Odegaard came off, we conceded two goals. <laughs> Yeah, no, it, it it was crazy. And I get you just put, yeah, Zinchenko today from start to finish, I agree with you, was absolutely shocking. I know you've got a shoot, Matt. I've got some more people backstage to bring through. So I appreciate you coming on, mate, and having your Good say. Up. Top, top man. Um, Brandon, Brandon, just, you know, you, I, I said it earlier, you guys have looked impeccable for weeks. You looked unstoppable. The football has been amazing. But when the pressure got on top today, <laughs> it was a, such a regression, such a regression. I'm tired, Terry. I am tired, my friend. Yeah, just when you think that Liverpool are going to be in the limelight for being the bottlers this weekend, Arsenal come along and say, oh, my beer. Oh, my beer, yeah? Give us an opportunity. Give us an opportunity to, you know, put a bit of distance between us and Liverpool and Man City in this title race. Give us an opportunity. We fold. Again. Again. Second season in a row. And do you know what else I'm tired of? Being dunked on by our former manager in big games that matter. This is the third time now. Yeah, today, title race. The two games against Villarreal that knocked us out of the Europa League. How many times? Six points Unai Emery's taken off us this season. It's not acceptable. It's not acceptable. Yeah? That first half, we played some brilliant football, right? But once again, I come back to it. Who was saying, who was one of the Arsenal fans saying, we need a striker in January? Oh, yeah, that was me. Oh, but you don't need a striker. No, 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 no. Look at your goal difference. Yeah. Look at the amount of goals that Arsenal are scoring. Today is why we need a striker. Because we've got fucking Lacazette from the favelas up front who can't hit a barn door. And I said that when we signed him. We replaced Lacazette with Lacazette. Gabriel Jesus has to be scoring that chance. I'm sorry. He has to. Yeah? And people keep saying that there's a reason why Man City let him go. There's your reason. Yeah? But we'll go back to the starting eleven. I said last week, before we play Bayern Munich, if we play this absolute fraud, Zinchenko, at left-back for the remainder of this season, forget about winning trophies. Because this guy is an absolute liability. A liability. Where was he for the first goal? On the right wing. You're a left back, my friend. That, oh, that's, that's where you're supposed to be playing. You should be in and around that left area. Oh, no, I'm just going to wander off like I'm, you know, some pitch invader, streaking, streaking on the pitch or something. Yeah, we just wander off over there. Doesn't matter. Let my defensive duties be done by somebody else. And then when Leon Bailey is in on, on the, uh, the far post where you should be defending, my friend, and you're nowhere to be seen. Oh, that's game done. Where was he for the Watkins goal as well? Where was our defence for the Watkins goal? We had Smith Rowe as our last man. What is going on? Seriously, we're at home as well. Yeah. And the thing is, is there was a, such a contrast in our first half performance to our second half performance. I have to start questioning what was actually said at half time. Because what are we doing that second half? Nothing. I don't, I don't understand it. His substitutions were awful again. And I'm going to reiterate the same point. Until we get a striker who can guarantee us goals in big moments, in big games, and a better manager who also doesn't fold when the pressure is on, forget Arsenal winning any major honours because it's not going to happen. And anybody who thinks we're going to the Allianz on Tuesday and winning, do me a favour. That is a damaging defeat, yeah? We see it last season. One big defeat affects these players' mentality. I guarantee you this defeat today affects the players' mentality. A little bit like what Liverpool had against Atalanta in, in, in the midweek. Looks like it's affected their, their um, confidence and their mentality. So congratulations, Man City, on another league title. And maybe one day, maybe one day we'll be able to take that off of you when we finally sort ourselves out and stop being bottle jobs in important moments of the season. It's ridiculous, Terry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm fed up. Right? Uh, mate, I do. By the way, the new beard looks good. I like the beard. The beard looks nice. I'm just a yeah, strong beard game. You've and the, got the other there. thing as well, right, for us to have any slim hope of winning this league, 
Man City have to lose at least one game. And we we have to win the remainder of our games. We've got to go to Spurs mm. away, which, okay, we beat them there last season, but we're not renowned for, you know, doing very well at Spurs away. And then United away as well. Does anybody seriously think we're doing it? Come on, do you? No, I don't just say that. I'm not playing it down. Have you seen us, bro? No, no, just, like, yeah, have you seen also, us play football? But, yeah, it's... but also, though, Tell, you've got to remember, you took points off Liverpool. This is true. This is this is true. It, what's interesting for me is I always thought Arsenal would lose some points in this running. I thought it'd be an away game. But today would concern me if I was an Arsenal fan because of how well you started and how you faded. That for me, very similarly to Liverpool when we, when we yep. played them last week, it was a good start and then fading. Uh, that would concern me. Uh, Sunshine here, Sky, a United fan. I hope you're very, very well. She says, uh, as a United fan, I'm disappointed in Arsenal today. The thought of City's four Pete makes me sick. That's because you love your football club and you're absolutely any Man United fan that doesn't feel like that. I, I, mean, I don't think you love your football club. I think you need to divorce us. I think you need to divorce Man United and go away. I genuinely mean that because I, I have to question the love of your club if you're happy about City doing a four-peat. It, it's weird to me. Proper strange. Well strange. Um, We're going to get some more Arsenal opinions as well, but I want to go to some rivals as well. V's here. What are you saying, V? Terry, panelists. What an amazing Sunday. What an amazing Sunday. I, I, joined, I joined the reaction show when Liverpool dropped points. And I did not believe it was going to happen twice in a row. I, I kind of said this a couple weeks ago. I said, Arsenal fans, relax a little bit because we still haven't seen how your manager is going to deal with Champions League in the league. We saw how you slipped up last season with, with Europa Sporting. They humbled you guys. This time around, I said, let's look at this picture. Everyone wants to talk about who's got the tougher, who's got the hardest picture. Well, Let's see who's got the manager that's going to be able to deal with a congested schedule. Now, <laughs> did I think it was going to happen this early? No, I did not. Am I happy for it? 100%. Do the questions continue? And I got to correct Brandon because he said it's two years in a row with you guys slipping up. No, it's three years. Because when you guys finished fifth, you were to finish fourth comfortably. And you messed up there. Your manager is showing that when it comes to the business end, doesn't quite have it figured out. And not only does the manager not have it figured out, the players don't have it figured out. And the way I'm seeing the meltdown amongst your fan base, y'all need to relax as well. The team's going to need you guys. This splitting and, and, and crashing it on players, huh, it's not over yet. I'm the first to say, remaining games still, I still have to make sure I don't drop points. You guys open the door, you open the window. I'm now top of the league, but there's still games to be played. I got to deal with Real Madrid. You guys got to deal with Bayern. Liverpool got to deal with Atalanta. I think more points are still going to drop, but thank you so very much. This is a, an amazing Sunday. And if I win it or not, hey, it's a new standard that's going to be set. Four in a row, every club's got a new benchmark to go after. We all saw what United have to do and had to raise our levels. If City happened to do it, you guys raise your levels to get to the four. It's a cycle of football. Terry, thanks for having me speak. I know there's going to be a lot that I'm going to ingest with this meltdown. I see Saad over there. I see Dial ready to speak. I'm all here for it. Thank you. Amazing show. The likes. Get the likes up. This is going to be an epic, epic reaction. Cheers, V. I appreciate that. Um, fucking eight City fans. <laughs> but it's because they're good. It's only because they're doing so well, genuinely. Um, 